Okay, so how you answer this math question is likely going to depend on how much math you actually know because the great thing about this question is that you can solve it using basic math, algebra, or even more advanced uh, mathematics. But let's go ahead and take a look at the question. Uh, the question says, how many times do you need to multiply 2 by itself to get to 1,024? Okay, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll take a look at different ways that we could uh, approach this problem, anywhere from basic math to algebra. Uh, again, uh, you don't have to you know, feel compelled to use one method or the other. Just use the method that you think that you understand in terms of how much math you know. But uh, anyways, we'll go over all of this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's take a look at the problem one more time before I show you the answer. It's uh, pretty straightforward. So the question is, how many times do you need to multiply 2 by itself to get to 1024? So if you're thinking, well, I could just take 2 and start multiplying by itself. So 2 times 2, well, that is 4. So that's not enough 2s. Well, let's go 2 times 2 times 2. Well, we got 8. Well, that's certainly not enough 2s. So we have 3 2s. We got to 8. So how many 2s do we need to multiply by itself to get to 1,024? Let's go to take a look at the answer. The correct answer is 10. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face in A plus a 100%. And multiple stars. Uh, so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you used whatever math that you know in order to figure uh, this problem out. And uh, this is a good little lesson here uh, in terms of mathematics in general because oftentimes people think that, oh, I have to use algebra or I have to use this or that to figure out a problem. You know, you try to use whatever math that you know. And oftentimes, uh, even though you might only understand basic math, you could still possibly get to the solution. Uh, certainly, you might have to work harder to get to the solution. But uh, again, you should always try to solve any math problem. So uh, irrespective of what technique that you use to solve this problem, nice job. Okay, so let's go and get into this right now. So uh, the first thing is, we have this problem. Make sure you understand the problem. I always like to use the rule of three. Read the problem at least three times and make sure you understand it. Uh, pretty straightforward question here, right? We just need to multiply two over and over again until we get to 1024. So one thing that we can do is just start testing different numbers of two. So for example, we can be like, all right, well, two times two, that's four. That's not enough twos. So two times two times two, that's eight. Uh, of course, we're not at 1024, so we're going to have to increase the number of twos. Uh, two times two times two times two, that's what? That's 16. So clearly, uh, we're going to have to uh, continue to increase uh, the number of twos. We, we are going to multiply uh, two by itself, right, uh, until we get to 1024. So we can just kind of run a bunch of experiments, and eventually, we will have discovered that it takes 10, uh, 2 being multiplied by itself 10 times uh, to get to 1024. So again, basic math, even if you didn't have a calculator, if you have uh, knowledge of multiplication, well, you can get to the right answer. Now, here's the thing. Uh, this particular problem um, you can do using basic math because this number here is not too large. But uh, let's suppose I said, how many times do you have to multiply 2 by itself to get to some other number, let's say like, you know, uh, you know, 100,000 or something like that. Well, you know, this is going to be a lot of, you know, uh, calculations, right? So this uh, particular process, this method here, and I'm not even sure uh, two to some power will get us to 100,000. I'm pretty sure it will, but uh, that's kind of beside the point. Uh, I guess the main idea here is that basic math, you know, you could use that or you can use basic math to figure this problem out because you know, like, you're not calculating uh, here too much. But uh, again, you know, this um, problem 
is uh, not too difficult uh, because the number here is not too large. But if this was a very large number, this would be not a fun problem to solve <laughs> using basic math. And uh, forgive my poor grammar there. And let's go ahead and take a look at some other techniques that we could use to figure out this same problem. Now, you might have thought in terms of division. So some of you might have said, all right, well, let me just see. And let me take 1024 and divide it by 2. Now, others of you could just start taking 2 and multiplying by itself over and over again. Again, different approaches here. So we could take 1024 and divide it by 2. If we do that, we're going to end up with 512. So in other words, uh, we have 2 times 512 is equal to 1024. So you might be saying, okay, we have 2 times this number. Let me just start breaking these numbers down here, uh, dividing them by 2. And, of course, we'll start seeing how many 2s are being multiplied by uh, itself to get to 1024. Now, this is not a, um, I'd say, like maybe the best technique. But, again, it's another method that you could have thought of uh, to use. And it will get you the right answer. So let's take 512 and multiply it by 2. So we get 512, and we divide it by 2, we get 256. So now we have 2 times 2 times 256 gets us to 1024. So now we have 2, 2. So we could just continue this process on. But uh, here we're dividing by 2. But uh, some of you might say, well, you know what? I'm going to use the division uh, concept here, but I'm not going to divide by 2. Maybe I'm going to divide by something that I already know uh, has a lot of twos. So maybe something like 32 because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. So all these twos right here is the same thing as the number 32. So if we take 1024 and divide it by 32, we get 32. Now again, a lot of you may not have uh, taken this path, but again, various different uh, approaches you could take to solve this problem. All right, so 1024 divided by 32 is equal to 32. So what does this mean? Well, it means that 32 times 32 is 1024. And I know that there are five twos in 32. And then here, two times itself five times is also 32. So, you know, this is one approach that you could take to get the answer. But let's go ahead and actually explore this a bit more because uh, what's interesting about what we're doing here is that you're really kind of stumbling upon some properties of powers and exponents, things that even if you have never taken algebra, that you could probably figure out by just looking at the patterns here. So we have 32 times 32 is 1024, but 32 times 32 is the same thing as 32 squared. So 32 squared is also equal to 1024. But we have not yet answered the uh, question uh, with how many times 2 needs to be multiplied by itself to get to 1024. We're going to do that right now. Okay, so 32 times 32 is 1024. We know that 32 is 2 times itself 5 times. And then here we have 2 times itself 5 times. So look at all these 2s being multiplied by themselves. Well, here's 5 2s and here is 5 2s over here. So we have a total of 10 2. So 2 being multiplied by itself 10 times gets us to 1024. Now, let's go back and just kind of review powers and exponents real quick because I'm going to show you something here that's interesting. All right, so 2 times itself 5 times is 32. Well, uh, this right here we could express as a power. Okay, so how do, uh, how do we do that? Well, this is 2 to the fifth power. This is equal to 32. So just like 2 squared means 2 times 2, which is 4, this is power and exponent notation. So this big number down here is the base, and the 5 is the exponent. This means how many times we're multiplying 2 by itself. So if you understand basic powers and exponents, we can express 32 as 2 to the fifth power. All right, so let's keep that in mind as we think about these calculations right here. So 32 is the same thing as 2 to the fifth power, and we're multiplying 32 times 32, or 2 to the fifth power times 2 to the fifth power. We know the answer is 1024, or 2 to the tenth power, okay? Because this means uh, you're going to multiply 2 by itself 10 times. So if you notice here, uh, 2 to the fifth times 2 to the fifth, we're multiplying powers, and it looks like we added these exponents to get to the answer, okay? Well, indeed, that's what we're doing here. This is actually a property of powers and exponents. And even, again, 
If you didn't know this, you could probably just study the patterns here and figure out a lot of rules and properties that you use in algebra. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at another rule that you can kind of stumble upon, and that is 32 squared is equal to uh, 1024. Again, 32 is the same thing as uh, 2 to the fifth, because 32 squared is 32 times 32, which, of course, is 1024. So 32 squared is the same thing as 2 to the fifth power, right? That is 32 uh, and we're going to square that. So we have 2 to the 5th squared is equal to what? Well, it's, uh, it's 2 to the 10th power. We already know that, okay, because 32, has, 32 times 32 is 1024, which, of course, is 2 to the 10th power, right? Or 2 being multiplied by itself 10 times. So uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. Well, how do we get to this 10? We have 2 to the 5th times this other 2. Well, it looks like this outside 2 or this outside exponent is being multiplied by this uh, inside exponent. And indeed, that's what's going on here to get to this 10th power. So I'm showing you this because if you understood these rules of powers and exponents, which typically you, uh, you learn in algebra, you could have maybe approached this problem you know, uh, using uh, one of these rules, which would make uh, doing the work a lot easier. But there's even another technique that you could use, and I'm going to show you that in just one second. But first, I'm going to show you this, which is, hey, can you subscribe to my channel? I definitely need your help. Uh, I've, been on, on, I've been on YouTube for a long time. Uh, I love uh, YouTube. It's a great platform for me to just to kind of teach as much math as I know. Now, I know this math, and it's not doing me any good. I'm a math teacher, and I'm, a, I'm passionate about, you know, uh, helping others understand what I already know. So, again, as a teacher, you're, you don't teach because you yourself know the material. You teach because you want to teach other people in <laughs> mathematics. And math is one of those topics or uh, subjects that a lot of people get frustrated uh, in. So if you are struggling in math, please don't give up. There's absolute hope for you. But you got to work hard at it. And, you know, if you're at a uh, basic math level, well, that's, you know, kind of like the first step, right? You kind of just have to walk up these steps one by one by one, basic math, you know, like pre-algebra, algebra, geometry, algebra two. So if you have a goal of, you know, learning calculus one day, well, you're going to have to go through these steps. There's really no skipping. I wish there was, but there isn't. So, you know, math is all about skills. And I think uh, this little video here is demonstrating that, you know, how much math you know, you know, is, is basically how many skills that you have. It's no reflection on your intelligence or anything like that, but as you learn more math, you gain more skills, and with more skills, you can do more, uh, and you can solve a wide variety. You know, you can solve problems in a different way, and we're going to take a look at a new um, or a different approach that some of you may not be familiar with here in just one second. But anyways, I need to grow my channel so I can reach as many people as possible, so hit that subscribe button, and if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. And by the way, if you uh, want to learn uh, more mathematics from me, or if you want to just check out my full main math courses, uh, I'm going to leave a link, uh, links to all those courses in the description of this video. Okay, so let's take a look at another way we could solve this problem. Now, uh, if you, um, let's say, have taken math courses at the Algebra 2, College Algebra, and or Pre-Calculus uh, level, hopefully this is the way you thought of this problem. Okay, so the question is, how many times do we need to multiply 2 by itself to get to 1024? So it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Well, we don't know, so we have x times. Now, we know the answer is 10 times, but we don't know how many times 2 needs to be multiplied by itself to get to 1024. Well, obviously, we know the answer is 10. So 2 to the 10th is the answer. But in this case, we're like, well, we don't know uh, that number. So it's 2 to the x power, where x is... Uh, what we're looking for. Of course, we know the answer is 10, but 2 to some power is equal to 1024. So you can think of this question as what we call an exponential equation. So 2 to the x power is equal to 1024. And this is the best way to solve this type of problem because, again, this problem uh, you can solve using basic math because 1024 is a pretty small number. But if this was a larger number, you would want to use exponent, an exponential equation to solve this problem. Okay, so 2 to the x is equal to 1024. How do we solve this problem? Well, I'm going to show you this right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is use something called logarithms. And if you don't know what this is, you can check out like my Algebra 2 and or Pre-Calculus course. Uh, you can see the links or find the links of those in the description. But uh, this is pretty easy to do. 
what we're going to do is use the LOG button on our calculator. So we're going to take the log of both sides. So just like this, so LOG to uh, 2 to the x power is equal to LOG to uh, 1024. Now in your calculator, the log of a number is just a number, right? So this is a huge topic and I'm certainly not going to try to explain what logarithms are, um, are, uh, are about. I'm just showing you another option here to solve this problem. Okay, so log of 2x is equal to log of 1024, so we're going to take the log of both sides. Now we have a property of logarithms that allows us to take this variable and put it right in front of the logarithm right here. Again, if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't even know what you're doing here. This is like advanced uh, uh, math. Yes, it's a little bit you know, up there, but uh, again, I'm just showing you other techniques. All right, so you can drop this x in front of the log. Now remember, this is a number that you can calculate in your calculator. You can take log 2, you're going to get a decimal. You can take log 1024, you're going to get another value. So to solve for x, we're looking at a very basic equation like 2x is equal to 8 because this is a number and this is a number. So to solve for x, all I have to do is, like in this uh, simple equation, I would have to divide both sides of the equation by 2. Here I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by log 2 because these are actual numbers. So when I divide both sides of the equation by log 2, these log 2s right here cross cancel. Uh, so we have uh, 1x or x on the left hand side of the equation. So we're going to go into our calculator now and type in log 1024 divided by log 2. And when you do the, uh, those calculations, you're going to get x is equal to 10. So what does that mean? Well, it means that our equation here was 2 to the x uh, power is equal to uh, 1024. We just solve for x, so that is 10. So 2 needs to be multiplied by itself 10 times to get to 1024. Okay, so again, you know, uh, how you're going to solve a math problem is going to be directly proportional, or, well, it's going to be, it's going to be dependent upon how much math you know, okay? And just because you don't know this math doesn't, uh, uh, it doesn't mean one thing or the other. It just means, hey, you just have not learned it or, you know, uh, you forgot it. So the thing about it is this. When you face a problem, and I think this extends beyond math. It's in life in general. Uh, you know, the problems or challenges that we face in life, there's not one approach, okay? But I think with experience, right? I think uh, some of us out there that are up there in years, right? I definitely know that I can solve uh, more problems in my life through experience, right? When I was younger or when we are younger, we just don't have that experience and experience is like a skill, okay? Same thing in mathematics and hopefully that kind of, uh, you know, point was uh, made in this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.